Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. A donor and wife reveal they are expecting child after tragic loss of son. Following the tragic passing of their son, Khalif, earlier this year, dancehall artist Aduna and his wife Kimberly are expecting another child. The couple made the revelation during the entertainer's set at the Chris Brown and Friends concert at the National Stadium in Kingston on Sunday night. Aduna, paying tribute to his wife, called her to the stage, dubbing her to a real one who held things down over the years. The entertainer saluted his lifelong partner as he pointed to her belly and said, Baby, dip on the way. Kim Ho Don and the All Black Ensemble smiled all the way through the announcement as she soaked up the praises her husband heaped on her. Taekwondo Tracy not concerned about lawsuit amid 4 by 100 meter saga. Jamaica sprinter Taekwondo Tracy says he is not concerned about the threat of a defamation lawsuit made against him by Maurice Wilson, the technical leader of the Jamaican team at the World Athletics Championship that ended on Sunday in Budapest, Hungary. I had no concern about that to be honest, if he wants to do that, it's as the son in the interview beside him said, it's totally up to him if he wants to pursue legal action. I mean, that's his right. I would think I can't stop him from doing that, Tracy told reporters at the team hotel in Bogafest on Sunday. Tracy, who was fifth in the men's 100 meter in the national trials in early July last week, lashed out against Wilson over inclusion who had placed seventh in the trials in the relay pool ahead of him. Gosen is part of Wilson's training camp based at GC Foster Sports College. In a video posted online, Tracy made accusations of bias against the technical leader. In a press conference held at the Jamaica Team Hotel in Bogapest on Friday, Wilson indicated that he would seek legal redress to protect his reputation which he believes was tarnished over the issue. Wilson said the accusations made by Tracy and two-time national champion were liberals and deflammatory, and I have secret redress to protect my reputation. I can't allow this to pass. It will be difficult for me not to seek legal redress, Wilson said, adding that his family had been attacked on social media. Meanwhile, Tracy stated that he was up with the brand's medal winning team of Akeem Blake, Obly Seville, Mr. Ford, and Watson. I said it from earlier on, as long as those four run, I am fine with it. They deserved their spot. They were ahead of me, he told reporters. I saw where it could have been a little bit better. The changes weren't how we used to do in it, seeing them. If you look back on the past, Jamaican 4 by 100 meter relay team, you will see the guys trying to get the button changed in full flight. And with most of the changes I can see, they got the button mid-zone, so they did not get the high-speed exchange. That's the only thing. The medal is awesome. I am really happy for them, really glad they got something out of it regardless of everything that was going on. I hope that they didn't feel pressured by what was going on with me, Tracy added. The Jamaica Bauxite Institute to develop orchid project on Mind Outland in Broadleaf, Manchester. The Jamaica Bauxite Institute, JBI, will be developing an orchid project on Mind Outlands in Broadleaf, Manchester. Minding Minister Floyd Green said the project will be done in collaboration with Member of Parliament for Manchester Central, Rhoda Mark Crawford. He made the announcement while speaking at the opening of the newly refurbished Broadleaf Community Health Centre on the grounds of the Broadleaf Infant on Tuesday. Mr. Green said crops that can be grown on mine outlands are well known and cited castor beans among them, adding that there is a high demand for Jamaican castor oil. So you would have heard that we have done the health centre the Member of Parliament told you that there's more on the horizon in relation to infrastructure support. And I want to tell the MP that I have said to the Jamaica Bauxite Institute, in all of our bauxite mining areas, we must have an agricultural base project. I know that for years, the Broadleaf community used to be known for its agriculture. And a lot of people, unfortunately, have turned away from it because they said they need some support. Broadleaf have a wonderful climate, good for fruit tree production. And I'm saying to you, MP, the Jamaica Bauxite Institute is going to work with you 
and to develop an orchard program in this broadleaf community. We know the crops that can be grown on former mining lands. Already in some communities, we have a wonderful Casta Bean program. And if you know how in demand Casta Oil is, you recognize that we have tremendous opportunity. Flat bridge divers revel in helping to save lives. A 45-year-old volunteer diver at the Flat Bridge in St. Catherine has described as a wonderful energy the act of saving motor vehicle accident victims from drowning in the very curvy waters that run under the overpass. The deceptively calm, dangerous waters coursing beneath the Flat Bridge, a beam bridge across the recovery on the A1 road connecting Kingston with the North Coast, tourist era of Duns River Falls and Ojoroyos, have claimed many lives over the years. This is the reason Sanjira Slo, a resident of the surrounding Bagwak era, said she started assisting those who have had unfortunate experience of accidentally driving off the low line bridge and into the river. For me, know myself and have since I've basically been volunteering. It's a brave mind and heart to do it, you know. Number one, if you can't swim, you must not enter. So we always try our best when somebody cover deer pull out the hundred percent, not me alone. Many more who were born and grown around here do all of this, Sloot stated. So recall the last time she assisted in saving a man who drive off the bridge. I go over there and save a guy, me and one of my sisters. A guy went over there from Bagwak side. Me never see when him go over there, to be honest. I was inside, and when me come out, me hear the excitement. So me just grab me tool them, me hatchet, claw bar, and my vest, the life jacket, Sloot said. Reflecting on May 8, 2021 incident in which Jermaine Scott was rescued after his car went over the bridge. It is a wonderful energy, she told the reporters when asked about how she felt about saving lives. When you do them things here, then you really feel good. You really feel like you can make a difference and help, Flo stated. However, she has also experienced a feeling of deep disappointment of a loss of life. She recalled an incident when a car went over the bridge and she couldn't help the occupants due to the rough waters. It was too heavy for me, she stated, noting that the incident still weighs on her mind. As such, she said she hopes the government can see the value in the service of the divers or providing and provide assistance, which is in the form of supplies or stipend, when they perform a rescue. It's a dangerous job, but generation after generation do it one here, Sloot stated. Still, Slo indicated that, compared to years ago, the front bridge divers are being called into action less because of floodgates that were constructed at points leading to the gorge. Less motors are becoming trapped in the river during heavy rain, she said. Back then, you used to have that difficulty with whole heap of people get trapped here, but no, it happened like that, she said. So it learned to swim from an early age. She could not contain her smile as she shared reporters how her father would tend to place her hand below his stomach, supporting her weight and he taught her how to swim. So said the first time her father, Louis, now 73, carried her to the river, she was no more than five years old. The first time he carried me out near the water, or right down there so, so it said, pointing to a section that is now overrun with bushes. Down there wasn't so bushy, because back in the days, there were all people come and beard and wash them clothes and catch them water. He would have me out there and hold me under my belly while I paddle. Then further on now, we started to swim out here, and him swim with me. Just overall playing in the water, until we started to swim good, she continued, remembering how she would frolic with seven of her siblings. I have a good relationship with him, she told reporters, as an endearing smile crept across her face. Then when we start to go for water, we can't pass the river and no swim. I want to just beard and hear say, go out the pan and get wet for the standpipe. We throw the bucket or the bucket in the water and chuck off for it. It was a great experience growing up, she stated. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the